Hey there, my name is Kelly Dale with Off the Beaded Path. Today is your Must Know Monday for Monday, October 12th. Today, I want to show you a very simple design using a Druzy pendant. Now, many of you may love Druzies, you may hate Druzies, or you have no idea what a Druzy is. No worries, I'm going to show you what a Druzy is. I actually looked up because I was really unfamiliar with what the actual stone was. So in Google, I typed in what is a Druzy. There is literally a website called whatisdruzy.com. So it says Druzy is the glittering effect of tiny crystals over top of a colorful mineral. It is beautiful when used with making jewelry, which we're going to do today. One of the perks of the Druzy is that they are not as expensive as some big faceted gemstones and they have sparkle and great color that can be cut into various shades shapes with ease and it says the common colors are white yellow brown red and orange it's a quartz that you can dye different colors um, my favorite color out of all the jerseys is a purple um, today, I'm actually going to be using a, a purple jersey with a gold um, outline to it, and you'll see those in a minute. But we actually bought a bunch of these jerseys, and we've been selling a lot of them here in our store, and I think it's because it's fixing to be sweater weather. So, um, this sample that I'm going to show you has been up in our store. We've been selling a lot of them. Number one for sweater weather. Number two, I think because it looks really elegant, um, it, but it's so simple and it looks expensive. So it's really, really good for some of those um, gifts that you might be making for the holiday season. So literally all I'm going to be using today is some gold aluminum chain, the purple jersey with the gold outline, a purple suede tassel and two jump rings. I'm gonna make this necklace long so there's no need for a, um, a clasp but if you like to make your necklaces short um, you will need a clasp for this necklace. Now we will have the jerseys on our website off the beadedpathbeadstore.com so you can check those out and look at those and um, just kind of you know have fun browsing through them. So um, go ahead and I'm gonna get my table set up and we'll get started. These are jerseys. <clears throat> As you can see it is a slice with the silver or the gold plate around it. Well, let me pick up a gold. There we go. We've got them in all sorts of different colors. And we have them with a one hole at the top or two holes. We also have these really neat chunks, like squares of them, that have the two holes to them. I think these would be great to work a bracelet with. Um, there's just lots of different fun colors that you can use with these jerseys. Here's another chunk of that one. Um, so there's just a lot of different ones that you can get to do something with. But like I said, today I'm going to be using a um, purple one with the gold finish on it and a double hole and I've got my purple suede tassel with my aluminum chain. Now I've also got two uh, little six millimeter gold jump rings and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my pliers to twist open the jump ring and then take tassel and thread the tassel onto the jump ring and then thread the jump ring onto the loop of the jersey and then close that so that this is what you've got so far. Then take the next jump ring, open it, attach it to the top loop and then I've got my chain already the length that I need. So I'm just going to go ahead and insert it into my loop here. And then close the jump ring. And remember, you 
close the jump ring you, oh, the same way you open it by twisting it so that it gets nice and closed. So that when you get finished, you now have a really simple and pretty necklace that you can wear all winter long with your sweaters. So I hope you guys enjoyed this super uh, quick and easy project. Like I said, the jerseys are on our website, offthebeadedpathbeadstore.com. Be sure and come back next time for another new video tutorial. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.